Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 53 to 54. Making sure I'm having that on the record correctly. Yes! Let's go ahead and get started. My dog is tired. <laughs> I'm on my yoga ball, so don't judge me. I'll be on it until my back stops hurting for a bit. Those bat bastards. While they run so far, they were just going to get caught that easily. We've been riding for days. My back's killing me. Well, we've had no time to rest. We had to get here before the party yesterday as well. So elite knights will take it from here. From here? Oh, yes. We caught our target, so all that left to do is to take care of them. But the problem is, it's a long way back. All right. Anyway. I can't believe that His Grace is actually in love. He told us to turn back the moment he received the letter from His Her Grace. I didn't even think him, think, I didn't even think him capable of affection. And I think Her Grace is truly remarkable. You can say that again. And His Grace showed up with such perfect timing yesterday. I actually thought that was Count was a goner. Had you not stopped His Grace. Don't be daft. His grace stopped of his own accord. Sorry. Don't make me repeat myself. But I am curious as to what comes next. What's to do what's to be done with those nobles? I believe that is sufficient for your briefing. Oh. If I may. I believe it would be, best, would be best that this matter will be dealt with internally. Uh, what do you mean, Your Grace? There would be no need to take such a detour. I'm not asking to take the peaceful route. If this matter is made public as a dispute between families, people might believe that the Lapillians are flaunting their powers and suppressing other nobles not just on the battlefield, but also in society. <sighs> we will be using our powers to suppress them all the same, but we should make the academy take care of it, at least on the surface. For the sake of Selfie's future. can't believe she's able to speak her mind in their presence. Yes, she is remarkable indeed. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 53 Are you sure you're alright, Sophie? You don't have to force yourself to go. It'll be difficult to catch back up if I miss school. Please, Please worry not, Your Grace. I shall be accompanying him. I'll come to pick you up today as well. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about now. Please, don't push yourself. I know you're busy enough as it is. Selfie has been avoiding the Grand Duke. He even decided to have his meals alone. He's not looking well today as usual. I'll see you later. Okay, see you. That night, Gloria seemed to mull it over for a while, and then she accepted my suggestion. The next day, the Lapillians issued a statement to the Academy and asked for the Imperial family to me mediate this matter. The Academy accepted our request and selected some approved personnel to be school inspectors. Imperial secretaries, priest, the Academy's principal, and teacher. The parent council. Then the matter was taken up at the first issue of concern for the inspectors. The respective sons of Count Trellin and Countess Denier 
have been expelled. Correct. And we order the families to make reparation. You will be receiving them soon. Reparations? I'm sure they will be busy. He sold their houses in the capital and moved to the manor, their manors. For Count Trillin, a part of his land had to be returned. The inspectors will be keeping an eye on him, so rest assured. But is it Count Trillin working in the Treasury Department? Oh, he stepped down from his position. The Imperial family also asked him to make good for causing trouble. Then how much did he have to pay? Come to think of it, he came to the church asking for our protection. The church on his estate is too small, so he needs outside of support. But I don't think he, his request will be accepted. There are no knights who wish to accompany him. Oh, he must have been real scared of the Grand Duke that day. But this is nothing compared to all the trouble he caused. Some no. Everyone's talking about the fall of the High Treasurer. All this work was finished in a week. I wonder if the matter would have been handled as quickly had Selfie had not been the Grand Duke's son. No. It never would have been brought up as an issue to begin with. It has turned out all right, so why am I even having these thoughts? I know that talking straight won't solve problems on its own. And even I became Grand Duchess to, protect, to be protected by the family's great power. <sighs> well, I know it was you. You told her grace about it. Huh? You found that out now? You never responded every time I spoke to you. Don't thank me. I didn't do it for you anyway. I didn't like seeing them causing a scene. I'm in trouble because of you. Uh, huh? Are you serious? Uh, this is so frustrating. You... How do you know about it anyway? My lord. A chubby little boy. Selfius. You, I thought you said you were out of my league, but why are you getting along with him? What? I never said... Fine then. This is your chance to prove whether you truly are the heir of the Grand Duke. If you have the slightest bit of influence in your family, you should be able to do something. My dad says your friend's family business is about to go bankrupt. Think you can save him? After all, he's your friend. What are you talking about? Uh. What is it you really want? You're right. I may not be welcome in the Grand Dukedom as their heir? I can see reason. So you're saying you can't help him? Is that it? He told me he could, he could help me, so I believed him. But you were the only person who was my friend. I'm sorry for turning my back on you. <sighs> and I decided to stop going to the academy. Why? You're a bully too, and I heard you'd be suspended, not expelled. It's the least I could do by way of apology. I learned to I decided to learn how to run a family's business for my father at home. Please take good care of yourself, Selfius. My in laws are obsessed with me. Episode fifty four Finally it's over. Classes are much too long. What we discussed will soon be finished. Her Grace, she's talking to an Imperial Secretary. Oh, the boys, they're here. Huh. There you are. Huh? 
Hey, Dad. Oh, they're talking about the compensation, I think. My dad ain't an administrator. Your dad is an administrator? Come on, do you even know my name? You shouldn't talk to the young lord like that. He showed up to school. What? Selfius. I'll see you later then. Oh. Are you serious? This is so frustrating. Do you really not know? Or are you just pretending? Do you think it's easy to set up a school inspector committee and manage a parent council? I bet the Grand Duchess was behind it. Uh, yeah, sure. She certainly would have pulled some strings, too. And seeing how she came to school last time, I'll say she adores you. But you should know better than, better that the Grand Duchess alone can't pull all that off. I hear your dad comes to the Imperial Administration office every day, nagging all the secretaries. Do you think her grace is behind that, too? The Grand Duke loves you very much, my lord. But why doesn't he come see me? I think he hates me. What can I do? Please, tell me. Uncle has been coming to pick me up ever since that night. He awkwardly asks how I'm doing and tries to strike up a conversation. I thought it was all a lie when people told me he loves me. Now I felt even more uncomfortable around him. I shouldn't have cried that day. But it doesn't feel bad. It feels liberating for some reason. But I don't know what I'm feeling, bro. I'm really feeling. Can I really trust him? <laughs> Had it not been for her grace, I wouldn't have been even brought it up. And I wouldn't be having these thoughts either. I really can't do without her. A year is still plenty of time. I should do whatever it takes to get her to stay with us. So what can I do? Let's think. Let's figure out a way to keep her in our family. For the rest of her life. Huh? W what did you just say? You made her grace drink your blood twice? But why? And twice? How? Don't tell me you were exper experimenting on her. On her grace? Good lord. Even I wouldn't want to be uh, by his side. There's no way to prevent the divorce. That's not something one can easily forgive. Just, what have you done? Oh my gosh. So he's he came up with an operation of how to keep Parashati in the house as a family with all of them for her entire life. That's such like the sweetest thing. It's such a, a childlike, innocent thinking, you know? Uh, well, obviously she will win over the kid's heart. <sighs> but now she, she needs to win the Grand Duke. And the Grand Duke has to show her that he cares about her. That he wants her. That he loves her. And not as a friend or a platonic or whatever. But he wants her as his person. Ugh. All right. That was just so cute. I can't. I'm a sucker for cute stuff like this. But all right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. There's Ziggs.